Tibetan Buddhism, we have f- mainly four lineages, and these four lineages, what we call like four legs of the table, table. And each lineage has a unique practice and a unique uh, way of uh, to engage the Buddha Dharma. So the Nyingma is some Nyingma in Tibetan word Nyingma. Nyingma meaning the early translation, the early one lineage, the early lineage, something like that. And this is uh, mainly brought Nyingma lineage brought into Tibet by Padma Sambhava, which is a great in, um, Indian enlightened master came to Tibet. The Nyingma is main focus about uh, what we call Dzogchen. Dzogchen meaning great perfection. The great perfection, the main focus about the, the view. The view meaning to understand the nature of our mind. So the Yingma, the first what we call pointing out teaching, that is, will be the main focus. Once you recognize your true nature, the nature of yourself, nature of phenomena, and then to maintain that recognition, then teach the meditation. So from the view, then you establish the meditation. That's the many Yingma style. And then second lineage is uh, Kajupa. Kajupa meaning the, the lineage of the transmission, lineage of the word or lineage of transmission. So the Kajupa start in Tibet by Marpa Lozawa. Marpa is the name of the family, family name. And Lozawa meaning uh, translator. So Kajupa lineage is the main focus on the meditation. And there's a lot of uh, emphasis, emphasis about uh, experiential practice. So great teachers like Marpalozawa and Marpalos, the main student is Melereva. Melereva is like wandering yogi who stay in the mountain and entire life focus about the meditation. And this is what we call experiential lineage. So it's kind of like not just um, uh, intellectually understand and bring into heart into the practice, into the, your experiential level, and then go to the next level. So once you learn meditation step by step, step by step, experiential, then you go into the view. View is the, to recognize your true nature, nature of all phenomena. These both are what we call the practical, I mean the practice lineage. The Gaju and Nyingma both emphasize about the practice, about the um, uh, meditation. So Kajiba first try to get the experience, and through experience, and you learn the knowledge. And for Nyingmaba, first you get the knowledge, then you get the experience. So that's the kind of like difference in another word. And Sajapa main focus is tantric practice. So tantric, uh, the developmental stage, which is uh, working with the uh, imagination and completion stage, which is working with the body, pra, the energy, essence of energy and the nerves. And then of course, the view is the one test, the un- union of uh, samsara and nirvana is kind of like view which is uh, similar as Dzogchen and Kajupa. So they have the particular main focus is the tantric practice. Then after that, uh, Gelupa start. So Gelupa, which is um, begin by Tsongkhapa. Tsongkhapa, great master. Uh, Tsongkhapa really focus about the education, the study, special the sutta, which is the Buddhist philosophy, those study main focus. And through that, uh, train the mind, and then eventually you practice the meditation and the view. So the main focus of the Gelugpa first is the, the philosophy, Buddhist philosophy. Of course, all these different lineage are essence is same. 
So it's not like one is better than another. Other is about them and it's them and also depend on the people's personality, mentality. So they have, so therefore there are many different lineages and all the essence is same from the Buddha. So all these lineage um, um, depend on the personality, depend on the uh, mentality. So this is why there are many different lineage comes and it's not like one is uh, better than another one. It is some kind of like different emphasis, different emphasis. And if you take it and apply it in your life, that will be beneficial.